This summer I was contacted by Ben with Brunt Boots and Clothing. And he felt that we should have a new pair of boots. So I wasn't going to turn them down, especially because they look so cool. So today, being the first day of fall harvest, we're going to try out our new boots. So we uh, were approached by this boot company, Brunt Boots, with the idea of thinking them thinking that we could really use some new boots, which is, you're right, we could. So we're going to try them out. It's a brand new boot company. This is not a shoe box. It's a tool box. Have you ever gotten a rag? Oh, that's nice. To clean your boots with? I don't know. Are these boots too snug? Our adjustable width system allows you to go from a regular fit D to a relaxed fit E plus with ease by, tr by removing insoles. These must Those be yours. Those must be mine. Sweet. Sorry, I opened yours. It's all right. Those are some heavy duty boots. Okay, well, let's see what yours looks like. Those are nice. Crawl across the floor dragging your toe. And it won't hurt them. No steel insole, right? No steel toe, no, it's on the outside. I don't think they're steel toed. A different, a way different lace situation. <coughs> Can you pull out that insole that needs, that supposedly come, come out that, or maybe you don't want to. There's essentially, it looks like, I don't want to pull it out. There's, there's two insoles. You, you take this first one out and there's a gray one underneath and you can take the gray one out if you want more room. That's the way I read it. Oh, okay. Looks like you got the I option, got, of, option going of going around the outside. Or I'm not going to be able, I know I'm not going to be able to use it like it's. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Looks like they're built pretty nice. Well built. Okay. Well, thanks, Brunt Boots. We will do our darndest to try these out and let you know what we think. Okay, so this is fairly easy process taking this in these insoles out. So you have this one on the top, and then you have a gray one in here on the bottom. Not much of a change, but it is just enough that it snugs up the boot, and it does feel pretty comfy having both of these in if, if your foot so allows.
They're waterproof. They look like they are fairly well built. Probably outlast me. And Jim said that there was a piece of plastic, maybe hard plastic in the toe. Is that right? Yeah, these, these I believe are a safety boot. Yep. So far, so good. Except my little brunt tag here keeps wanting to turn. It's on there the wrong way, I think. Maybe that'll work. So we'll see how well they feel by the end of the day. a little bit. Today is October 2nd, 2023. It's the fourth week for harvest for Jim. He started four weeks ago today. Today is my very first day and I believe we will be starting in the soybeans. We've had 90 plus degree weather for the past several days so I'm sure it's dried all those little soybeans down quite well. Looks like the field we'll be on is that one over beyond the pond, I'm guessing. And we got the right color combine. Fire you right now, so. <laughs> okay. Feels like it's been a while. I guess it's been over a year since I've been in this machine. Or a yellow one for that matter. So let's see if I can get some beans cut. from the header so I guess we're trying to figure out what it might be I think it was last year pretty sure it was last year I dinged up that left side of the header so I wonder if it's an after effect of that But it's been working perfectly. Not sure what's going on, but the reel is hitting the left side of the header. And like I said, I, I dinged that up last year. But it was working fine until just the point where I stopped. So, Mark is going to come take a look at it and see if we can figure out what's going on until then i guess i'm done not a good way to get started with this fall 2023 harvest Clear against that side on the other side? There's no way we're 
flexing it that much. No. So we got the problem fixed. Some things needed to be loosened and adjusted with, <laughs> with the crowbar and the sledgehammer. But we got her back in order again and it was like down for 15 minutes at the most. So let's see how it goes. Did Lee have to go fight fire? I don't know. My phone, I have kind of a hard time hearing off of it. But he knows his truck's full? Yeah, I called him and told him it was full. Those of you who don't know what soybeans look like, that's what the soybean plant looks like. And this is what the soybean looks like. It's like a little BB. So we had to change the shifts. Kermit left and we got Ange in the tractor. And until they tell me to go home, I'm not gonna stay in here. Oh, we've made a pretty good dent on this field anyway. today's daily update if you did why don't you give it a thumbs up for us we'd like to know that and be sure to hit the subscription button and the bell notification so that you know when the next video is up and ready to watch thank you and we're so glad you're along with us for the journey